Hello everyone, um, as we all know that AIML is the first exam from our exam point of view so I would like to make a video in which I will be telling you what should be a preparation strategy to get the maximum marks in AIML. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before starting, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, your support helps me a lot in making uh, more videos like this. So let's get started. What I will be discussing first is that uh, what is the question paper pattern of uh, AIML uh, 2023. Before that, um, what is the uh, date in which we have is 16 okay so today is uh, 11 in which i am uploading this video so hardly we have around uh, four days okay so in four days you have to cover the maximum modules if you watch this video till the end you'll be exactly getting to know which modules you have to focus more upon what type of questions can be asked from which module how much is theory how much is numerical everything i'll discuss what are the key points you need to uh, keep in mind and um, how to get uh, the maximum marks from writing the uh, least content okay so if you don't know about how to uh, score the uh, nice marks in exam and what you need to write you will be sitting like this in the exam uh, hall okay so uh, you need to watch this video till the end to get to know uh, how to prepare for AIML and what are the expected questions so um, if even if you have four days you have to keep from these four days three days for learning and one day for revising three days you have to uh, keep for learning how much ever you can learn you can learn and uh, let me tell you that you can easily score 70 marks by learning in three days how do you do that keep watching from the three days you can score 70 marks what is the pattern of the question that's the next uh, step you need to um, have in mind in the pattern of the question there can be mainly five type of questions okay so if you know this five type of question which uh, question is more suitable for you from which module you can uh, learn that after uh, knowing the pattern of question uh, you know what you'll become you'll become like a superman okay like this you'll become because you know the pattern of the question easily you'll be able to study the important concepts and not waste time in any useless stuff so, okay the first type of question what can be asked is the definition type question it can be varying from two to three marks definition like what is and define that, uh, those type of questions like the main topics will be there right from that topics the definition question first make a list of all those type of question which are coming in the definition type question okay then after that uh, what you have done uh, you have the characteristics advantage disadvantage in that also we have many new concepts um, from every module i'll be discussing in each uh, module what are the important concepts from each of these type of questions so stay tuned these are consist of five mark of questions next we have the algorithm plus example type of question which consists of eight marks you have to write the uh, algorithm and if they give the numerical you have to solve that numerical or you have to consider your own example and give for example in candidate elimination also they can give decision tree also they can give their own example or they can ask you to write an example by yourself so you, you must be very prepared for that next one you have the different types of problems like in the nave base we have some problems and knn we have problem and uh, first we have the eo star a star problems what is the problem they can give you a situation you have to be able to write that answer so i'll be discussing what all you need to keep in mind to solve the uh, problem types in the best possible way next we have the proving types they'll be giving you a situation like uh, prove that marcus hates caesar from the module 2 every question uh, such type of question consists of at least eight marks so make sure you know this very well these are the five types of question which could be asked and after knowing the pattern of the questions you need to uh, also know what are the module uh, consist of which are the modules you need to start first and which will be the uh, ending module what all you need to focus in between and module wise which is the most specific modules which you need to keep in mind all those things i'll be discussing in depth so keep watching <coughs> after you know these modules what all you need to uh, keep in mind will be becoming like this boxer and theory will be almost 70 percent and the numericals will be around 30 percent okay so this is what uh, like in the most of the previous papers also i've observed these are the type of questions and the problems so based on that i have designed a pattern which i'll be uh, showing you in the upcoming uh, video so let's have a look at that when there is less time you have to prepare very smartly okay you need not study everything just the important things and what is more weight is that you have to study to get the maximum marks okay and it's not like that if you study only the important concepts you may not be able to attempt the unimportant concepts there is also an art of att attempting those questions which you haven't studied okay for that you need to keep few strategies in mind which i'll be letting you know very soon so uh, our main task in this video is to uh, know which are the three easiest module which you can learn very easily in short amount of time and even get the maximum marks okay so uh, before that let me tell you what are the all the module consist of because few of you might uh, be knowing some uh, modules more well so it's uh, my responsibility that to represent in front of you what all each module consists of then you can choose by your own self also at the end i'll be telling you which are the three easiest modules which you can see from these uh, questions okay module one is basically an intro what you need to know is see the whole subject you need to know what it all consists of so module one is nothing but the introduction okay in that you have about the ai what are what 
what is AI, what are the different characteristics of AI, where all AI is applied. Just a brief overview of that will be sufficient for you. It's a very uh, easy yet a very important question from exam point of view. Some problems like A star, A star, and water jet problem. These three problems I'll be discussing in a separate video. Exactly what are the steps you need to follow to answer these type of questions. That was about the module one. So this is the image associated with that. This is like a water jug. Okay, that's a very important question from exam point of view. Coming to module two, we have the logic. In the logic, we have the different kinds of reasoning. You will be applying your brain to do the different type of reasoning and the logic operations like the AND or Boolean XOR and all. Okay, and inside that also we will be having a super important question which is Marcus hates Caesar. Uh, by using the predicate logic, we'll be uh, we'll be having to prove Marcus hates Caesar. They'll be giving a set of propositions. How do you uh, uh, interpret that uh, proposition to get the final answer? Everything I'll be discussing in depth. Okay. So next we have the module 3 which is uh, nothing but by this you might have guessed it is nothing but tree tree and ANN module 3 is divided into two parts trees and ANN ANN is artificial neural network general information and algorithm regarding the decision trees ID3 algorithm right that's a very important algorithm you know it very well and then we have the back propagation just knowing the back propagation algorithm is sufficient because numericals aren't asked in the back propagation algorithm so it's a very important question for exam point of view Module 4, we have the Bayes theorem. What is Bayes theorem? Bayes theorem is nothing but we have been given with some probabilities. By using that, we will be predicting some probabilities. It can also have the algorithm, it can have the formulas, it can have the examples, it can have the theory. They can also ask you uh, regarding the proof. Okay. So all these things I'll be discussing in depth, stay tuned. And some problems which could be asked is the nave based problem. It's very important from exam point of view. Nave based problems are uh, very much repeated. One of the problem is the cancer problem. Okay, in that we have uh, the patient's uh, probabilities are given. Also different kinds of uh, things can be asked in the nave based because it's a very uh, simple thing and just you have to apply one formula. I'll be discussing sufficient examples so that you get to know the exact things from the previous papers. Next, so this is telephone means uh, there is a Bayesian belief network problem in which telephone uh, uh, problem will be there so i'll be touching on that as well moving on to the module 5 have knn and the learning knn the most super important is the algorithm and the theory as well as the problem okay they can ask directly the problem for eight marks very simple yet very important one okay and why i have put this robot is because reinforcement learning is our next topic okay in knn after that we have the reinforcement learning in that we have the q learning q learning algorithm formula and the learning task and the characteristics of the reinforcement learning all are super important and coming uh, to the end of this uh, uh, video what i want to tell is that if you are starting to learn first learn these concepts okay start learning from the knn algorithm and learn the problem problem is very simple i'll be uploading very soon make sure you watch it till the end and get to know what exactly you have to do two step process only and after that you have done go for reinforcement learning very simple concepts are there after you have done that go to the uh, module one learn what is about ai okay in about AI, some important questions are there which i'll be uploading very soon learn that very well then go for the problems like a star a star and the water jug at least these three, uh, these three you have to know after I have done this month, the last module which can go through is the module 3 in that you have the back propagation algorithm very simple how do you memorize it just four step process is there i'll let you know how to memorize that one and general information and algorithm is regarding the trees that's also very important okay so uh, what is your task is to go to the um, link in that there's um, folder called as notes inside that notes i have given all the notes and you can go through that notes and um, be preparing and i'll be re uh, releasing the detailed video uh, very soon so don't don't waste your time and that's all for this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one